It's Warcraft Yay! Well, greetings everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z and this time around we're gonna be casting a game from the GNL Gym Newbie League. We got Link spawning over here on the top left as the Red Nile player. He's gonna be taking on a player known as German Gandalf. Spawning in as yellow human on the bottom right. It's gonna be human versus Nile. Map is tied hunters and let's see how this turns out to be. It's been a long long time people. A long long time ever since I've associated myself with DNL. It's been a long time indeed. Great people, great fun. And seen a couple of casts also be done by Back to Warcraft as well. And I must say that you guys are doing great. As we wait for the altars to come up and look at the heroes, we're gonna go down. It's obviously going to be a tower pick for Link since he hasn't put down his altar just yet. Young player is just gonna go for Archmage, standard choice with a wide wide opening over here at his base. Night hunters, I can't really turn off the fog of war while watching a live game so we can't really explore the map a bit. Map's still relatively new to me. I haven't completely explored it. Uh, it's got some interesting stuff. You got the shop in the middle right next to the tavern and opposite to the marketplace. And uh, this is like a jackpot camp I must say. Uh, this is like a mega murloc camp over here which is not really very hard to take out but it is a red camp. So that's gonna give you some good experience there. As German Gandalf detects the wisp being sent in by Link, uh, whack it a bit, then put it to uh, put it to what exactly it was uh, be made for scouting. Gonna send towards the opponent, pull in a couple of militiamen, go in for the orange camp at the sea giant. They're gonna have to be a bit careful. This thing can deal cleave, so gotta be very careful. Yeah, there you go, cleave damage there. The you know, peasants can be taken out so easily with that. Gonna reach towards base and he's gonna immediately detect something is fishy and oh my oh my goodness Ling's going in for the panda a big breath of fire not get the kill on that footman he's still gonna try and follow perhaps put down another one but Gandalf will escape with that footman Steve will survive and live to fight another day report back to the army of the human player and it wise exactly what is cooking and he's gonna advise that it is the brewmaster's barbecue cooking and he gets back there and definitely gonna need a healing self i uh, don't really have a arcane vault being put down just yet on oh, no, a lumber mill is going down though on that for the extra or rather uh optimum lumber harvest it's detected perhaps take it out or at least uh initiate the detonation i don't really want be detected by the wisp there. Link is gonna follow with that wisp. He's gonna come in and he's gonna detonate himself on that elemental there. Giving some experience to Link actually. If you think about it, elementals give decent experience. And Link without even being there just got himself some good experience by a wisp that was always uh, well, which was technically just gonna die in a moment if uh, Gandalf just went back to have a look at it. Going for some more camps, got himself a Claws of Attack plus six, uh, plus five. Sorry, we don't have Claws of Attack plus six anymore. Just rolls of the tongue, just rolls of the tongue there. Double Gloves of Haste on the side of German Gandalf. And he isn't teching up. Why isn't he teching up? This is why he isn't teching up, but. Okay, this is something I failed to cover earlier, but this is actually bad. This is bad. This is bad for him. He wanted to do a tower rush, but it's working against him. Those peasants actually ran into Link, and Link is gonna punish him severely. Those peasants are barbecue, and the tower rush has already failed before it could even begin. This looks absolutely bad for German Gandalf right now. I have to do something to come back out of this. I won't be able to fight against those archers right in the base of the Nidal player. Maybe soak away all the mana from the Moonwills, but really, 
It's not gonna work out. You also have the panda brewing there. The footmen are gonna be barbecue. You got kill on one of the archers. Second archer gonna go in with. Let's go shadow melt. Footman down. Big brother fire. Level three panda. This looks absolutely dangerous. Oh no, he tried to pull in peasants, but he just kind of just walked them instead of turning into militia. But oh no, 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 no. Don't have enough mana for the Breath of Fire right now, but there you go. Now you do. And that's a level 2 Breath of Fire. Just barbecuing down those peasants. This looks terrible. Oh my goodness, this is bad. German Gandalf's plan completely backfiring against him. looks terrible for him right now. Tower Rush has completely failed. He is still keeping up the pressure though and he did manage to kick out a good number of archers if you think about it. I think doing failed so far. Ancient of Wonders being put down there. Definitely needs a clarity potion. Big Breath of Fire! Footman gonna be barbecue. Go to elementals man. At least you deal a lot of damage. The fight goes on for much longer. Maybe putting down an AP would be a good idea for Link. Some archers shadow melted. Defend is just not going to be able to let Link be able to deal any damage on those uh, footmen there. The panda! The panda! This game is turning. <laughs> turning tides right now the panda's gonna get taken out he is near death right now German candle despite of losing that tower rush manages to keep the pressure up and gets Link's hero and for a moment I was about to call the game for German Gandalf but he's coming back and he's making it happen tower rush baby panda's dead panda's not even being revived unless until Link wants to get it back from the uh, from the altar there he does have something stationed nearby the altar. But General Gandalf going after the Moonwells. Moonwells down. Stay time. More footmen coming in. This looks absolutely terrible. This looks absolutely terrible for Link right now. And putting insult to injury. Okay, Panda came back with the ta uh, tower and I can see. Big Brother Fire, level 4 on that Panda. Will really come back from this. Part of Skull of Regen, gonna put it across the entire army, but you just need a one, one Breath of Fire. One Breath of Fire and there you go. Link is holding on with just one Panda right now. He has no military. And frankly, has no escape routes. Near the shop, should use something. But he's gonna lose his Panda again. And going to call out for the GG. Good game. Yikes. That was something. Let's say that... Uh, that little mistake by Gandalf. While sending out his... Peons, or rather peasants, towards Link. Kind of would have cost him the game, I must say, at that point. But... This came back. That was great. He just kept the pressure up. He didn't let go, and at the end, it just turned out to be fruitful for him. Lovely game, I must say. So, let's leave this one and wait for game number two. Back to the chat. Um, I already have a lot of chat going down. I'm gonna have to wait for them to put it down to me. Ah, uh, there's a lot of chat I missed out over here on the stream chat, though. Let's see here, GNL Poggers, already read that. This is a tower rush. Oh my god, Link Panda. Lucker playing Nidal. What? Lucker is a very versatile player. Did I say Lucker? No, man, I did not say Lucker. I did not say Lucker. No, I didn't say Lucker. <laughs> there is no way I said Lucker there. <laughs> yeah, and Jockey's gonna come back with a clip or something. If I did say that. To German 2. And map is going to be Northern Isle. Ready. Oh, 
we can't have a commentary without saying it's Warcraft. Yay! All right, everybody. Game number two between Link and German Gandalf. We got Link spawning over here at the bottom left as the yellow Nidal player. He's going to be going up against German Gandalf, top right uh, red human player. And I must say, despite of my new monster PC, things seem to be a bit clunky over here. And actually, okay, I can see that uh, my little overlay is actually on that bar there. Looks okay, actually. I'll just keep it there for the time being. In the last game, I must say, Link put up a hell of a performance. He basically held off against an entire human army with a panda, but at the end did succumb. German Gandalf just put up the pressure and just kept attacking. He just didn't let go and at the end came up victorious. And yeah, the, this is an updated, you know, let's update this. Just like the, how the pros do it. Monster PC. Yes, I'm going to refer to this as the Monster PC from now on. Where's Booster? Yeah, Loops to Army. Where's, where's Gandalf? There's Gandalf. There we go. There we go. Pro Maneuver. What a maneuver! And uh, Link's doing it again. Link is doing it again. Link once again going in for Tavern Build. Although the question is that, is he gonna go for Panda again? Or is he gonna go in for something else? A lot of Archer, um, there's a lot of options I must say. Archers, I have a lot of Archers. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of options. You could definitely go in for... Alchemist, you could go in for Dark Ranger. Got options. Got options. As far as human players are concerned, it, you don't really need options. You just need Footman Steves. As long as you have Footman Steves, you don't need anything else. And we have Footman Steve heading in towards Link's base. Maybe sticking near the tavern would be a better idea, just to know if he's actually going in for the same thing this time again. As he goes after the Wisp, goes in for some creeping, and gonna be a bit careful not to have his militiamen taken out, and he's gonna be Panda once again! Link going in for the Panda. And Footman gonna have a little melee with the panda there before he backs out lightly. I think having good vision of what exactly is going on on uh, German Gandalf's base. As he attempts to begin the creeping over here, but uh, what do we have here? Uh, do we have an expansion? We have an expansion! Gandalf going in for the expansion early on. And I'm not sure this how may how this may turn out for him. If Link manages to get this panda to level up up to level three, that's going to be a bit of a dangerous uh, scenario for the expansion. Breath of Fire is just so good. And ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. potion of greater mana, baby. Big mana potion. Into panda. And is he gonna go in immediately with Drunken Hazard and... Uh, okay, he actually got the passive ability, not the Drunken Hazard. I guess he just figured out, he's like, you know what, I'd rather have uh, half uh, Demon under half uh, Blade Master ability than having the Drunken Hazard. Which I don't even know does more damage or not. And what do you have here? German Gandalf venturing out of his base. He's actually going in towards Link's base, and this is a perfect idea. Go in and keep Link busy. Apply the pressure. Fake it out. Although, I must say, Link probably knows that there's an expansion coming in, because there was an obvious uh, route to Gandalf's uh, creep. Uh, creeping there. Link probably knows that there is something cooking at the expansion location, but German Gandalf is going to make his way towards his base, going to go after the uh, second Ancient of War. That was the second Ancient of War, actually, by Link there. Link's planning in to go for Mass Tier 1, going to get some illusionary archers here. Uh, Breath of Fire going down, but only on the Elemental and that one Footman there, not really dealing too much damage. Definitely needs to level up. That uh, elemental may help him out, but not only able to deal almost so much damage with those archers, but oh, lovely hallucination blocking, I must say. Illusion blocking there. Who says illusions are useless? You can do so much with illusions in the 
in a cast today that we did for Lucker, one of his replay requests, where he covered, where he went for um, a mirror image instead of uh, vertical strike. He actually did use it to his advantage. That was a level five late master, but enough about that game. We're gonna have to talk about this game. So this is one of the good things I like about uh, Illusion. There, Illusions carry forward some abilities like an oh. Okay, he's reconnected, so it's fine. Fine. Ducky says illusions are dope, and I would agree. We have Battle Rage on level 3 on the panda. When did the panda get level 3? I do a lot of talking, I guess. Footmen don't have defend just yet. Maybe they do. Maybe we can correct it. They're not using it just yet, at least. Elemental gets taken out, and that's a good amount of experience, I must say, for uh, the brewmaster there. Like, that's a lot of experience, really. I don't think that the elemental gave him that much experience, if you think about it. He probably got, off, got it off of something else there as well. Archmage needs to be level 3. I really need those beefy level 2 elementals in the fight. And oh, Link's gonna pick himself a Naga Sea Witch. That's gonna be so useful, and that's gonna be able to deal so much damage with the Fork Lightning eventually when he gets that. Currently, just gonna have a, a cold arrow, attack. and he's gonna be able to slow down the already slow defended footmen. But really, it's gonna be a pain to take them out with archers there. Big breath of fire, and that breath of fire was worth it. Two footmen there, but uh, I don't think Link knows about the expansion just yet. I mean, he definitely knows something was cooking there, but he didn't go there actually. He didn't go there. And while he is killing a good number of uh, footmen here, I mean, he's missing out a bigger picture over here. And the bigger picture is that Gandalf has expanded and has a fully operational expansion there, which is already defended well. And while Link uh, is kind of wreaking havoc over here at the main of uh, General Gandalf, he's fine with that. I mean, not completely fine. Definitely not completely fine after losing that many peasants, but... He should be fine for the most part. Oh my god. It's absolutely terrible. So many footmen, so many peasants can be taken out, but the archers are also falling in the back line. I can see which ought to be ought to, be at level uh, 2 by now, but not there just yet. Old arrow coming into play. He's a breath of fire. Does have potion of healing there. And he's cheaping towards the expansion. Now this should this should signal Link. This should signal Link. Like, okay, he didn't TP towards his main, he, he saw that, he knows, now he knows for sure that's an, that there's an expansion. And, I mean, just look at the expansion, it wasn't all that well defended, you just had like one arcane tower there, put something in the front line, not uh, let the pan, uh, panda get any damage from the arcane tower, be feedbacked. And uh, just go and go in there with all those breath of fires. So Wood had been able to disrupt the expansion by a lot. And oh no 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 no! Picks around. What picks around? Force the TP on the panda, and the panda is gonna use the TP to get back to his base. I can see which is already there. Heal up a bit. I think it's still tier one. Link wants to do a tier 1 push. Worker 3 people. People are just becoming much more used to going in for tier 1 pushes. Oh, by the way, there's a, like a star roaming around there. If you guys want to like exclamation jump, you guys can try an exclamation jump and grab that star. And we have a big fight going on. Been so many breath of fires, I lost count right now. That mantle of intelligence definitely coming into play. Naga Sea Witch leveling up, and the Brewmaster is getting very close to level 4 right now. Link's completely ignoring the expansion, he doesn't care about the expansion. I mean, if you think about it, this is kind of a bad sc scenario for Link. Link is currently tier 1. A player's oh, wait a second, why did I say tier 1? Link is currently at uh, tier 2, has no t uh, tier 2 uh, buildings in there yet. He's going in for uh, mass tier 1 production for the most part. And German Gandalf has an expansion. What is tier 2 build, uh, stuff coming in? The only thing that Link has basically the Naga Sea Witch, and that is pretty much it. 
Fork Lightning and that was that's devastating. That is absolutely devastating. He just completely murdered them all together. And now he for sure sees the expansion for himself, but not before losing all of his archers. Riflemen are not going to be as squishy as the footmen. That's one thing that Lynx needs to be careful about. He's risking it all, I must say. Oh, no, 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 no. Panda trapped and Link will tap out. And the series goes to German Gandalf. Must say, that was an exciting series. For a moment, I kind of blanked out over there. Wow. <laughs> I was like, Link is a one. Link already has a second hero. <laughs> oh, wow. Great performance there by Gandalf, I must say. And taking nothing away from Link, though. Link. But at the end of the day, Erwin Gandalf was just a better player, and that. Well, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and listening. If you have enjoyed what you have seen. Don't like but watching this video on YouTube. Not for the guys on the stream. That is for the guys watching this as a video. Subscribe for more, and like always, I shall see you on the next episode of Warcraft Day.